college student named Russell took his daughter and his friend for a day trip to the Whitney Plantation in Louisiana. This property is just one of many in the area where African Americans were once enslaved. The visit led to a powerful realization of how far African Americans have come. It also led to this even more powerful photo that has since gone viral. You're looking at 15 African American med students in white lab coats standing in front of the plantation's cabin. Here to share their life-changing experience is Russell and his daughter, nine-year-old Malia. Give it up for me. So, Russell, tell me about the trip to the plantation. Yeah, so uh, one of my best friends, Philip Thomas, um, came down to visit me. He's also getting his PhD at NYU. And we both went to HBCUs. I went to Southern University. He went to North Carolina A&T. Mm -hmm. And black history is so important to us. Mm -hmm. And so he came down. He had already looked up uh, some plantations. And that specific one was special because it focused around the lives of enslaved people as opposed to glamorizing the life of the owners. And so we were like, we got to take this trip. And of course, being a girl dad, I um, strung on my daughter, who was supposed to be at tennis camp. And I was like, nah, you're going to take this trip. Yeah. It sounds, it sounds like a really important thing, too. Yeah. Russell and Malia, you had a thought-provoking kind of conversation on the ride home, right? Yeah, so um, we were on our ride back, and Malia being Malia was like, Dad, Dad, Dad. I was like, what's up, Malia? She was like, I finally get it. Being a black doctor in America is a big deal. And in my <laughs> mind, I'm thinking, yeah. I know I've been oh trying to tell God, you that for forever. Oh, my God, I'm about to cry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she was like, so, you know, of course, when that happened, um, I looked back, and the next thing I said was, well, why'd you tell me that? And then she, what'd you tell me? So I said, well, because we just left the plantation where you couldn't go and say, okay, I'm going to go and skate, and I'm going to be a doctor, a lawyer, a scientist, or whatever you would like yeah. to go be. And so I thought that that was kind of something that made me kind of say that, and I wanted to tell it to him right then and there. Yeah. And they weren't even allowed to read. No. Nope. They weren't even no. allowed to read and write, no. let alone become doctors. Yeah. Like, that's the, the huge thing. And it's a cool thing that you are showing her how, what a blessing it is to grow up in a size where you can read, you can write, you can be anything you want to be. And that's how it should have been, and that's how it is now. You can do anything, and that's a really important thing that you did for her. Thank you. Thank you. Because if you don't know where you come from or your people come from, you don't know, like, how much you've progressed and how much more you can progress. And I, I think that that's really important. But, Russell, that, convo that conversation led um, to the idea of the photo, right? Right. The so the next thing coats? I did was I looked over at Phil, and I was like, yo, Phil, this is rocking me, man. Like, my classmates got to see this because med medical school is hell. And um, we needed that moment, specifically, you know, us, all of us that, you know, that commonly spent time with each other, we needed that moment. Um, and so, of course, I went back and um, had some conversations with some confidants. Uh, of course, Sydney Labai, um, Carrie Crook, and some others. Um, and the first thing I told them was like, "Yo, I got this idea. This is what we'll do. We'll go there in all black, with, you know, have our white, our white coats. But we need this moment to spend this time." And of course, they were 100 percent on board. Um, and here we are. Yeah, that's a really amazing thing. Well, we have, um, you have a, a colleague, right, when you d ended, ended up doing the 15 Coats, right? His name's Sydney? Yeah, Sydney, yeah. one of my closest friends is here. Yeah. Um, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy to have this conversation with her. Um, the, the real idea behind this is that you just have to have the conversation first, right? Like you, you and have not to be have afraid the, of it. Yeah, and not be afraid of it, right? Like it's an ugly past. It's that we uncomfortable, have. but you gotta work through it. You gotta move past that. We yeah. really do have to move past that. Yeah, have I agree. After Russell and Malia visited the Whitney Plantation in Louisiana, they had an epiphany about just how far African Americans have come in this country. And they wanted to make a statement about it. So Russell reached out to his friend and fellow student, Sydney. She led the charge to make this photo happen. Sydney is with us now. Y'all give it up for her. So, so what did you think when Russell brought the idea of the picture up to you? Oh, I thought it was phenomenal. Like, yeah. just not giving any thought to it. Like, yeah. okay, let's make this happen. It's powerful. But, right, exactly. So, but re the reason why, like, behind all those thoughts is that because as black, you know, minority physicians in training, we're mm. such a minority. And that is so, on top of medical school being disheartening, like, that just adds to the imposter syndrome. So, like, imposter syndrome Feels like is another real, hurdle. Right, the, acad the, the academic bar that is so high for us on top of the fact that we are surrounded by physicians that don't look like us. And yeah. that could definitely add yeah. to the imposter syndrome. So You're just, a part of the change of that, though. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So you're basically, not trying, you're doing. <laughs> absolutely you're right. Doing. You're so right. You're so <laughs> yeah. right. Um, but just the resilience 
that our ancestors demonstrated yeah. in order to just get through the horrors of slavery, yeah. we really, really had to respect that and go take this photo. And resilience is in our DNA, and yeah. I'm absolutely confident in that. Yes. And we're, it was like, not when, not if, but when. So yeah. let's figure this out and get this done. So it was a phenomenal idea. It's, it's amazing. So what kind of reaction have y'all received from the photo? So we've gotten like international reactions all over the world. Um, it's been insane. I, one that I particularly remember, it's I was going through my DMs one day because, you know, with the viral stuff and yeah. there's DMs, yeah. there's thousands of them. So I clicked on like a voice message one because I was like, oh, this is different. Let me see what this is. And it was a man from Brazil. And basically what he said in the voice message was that I don't speak a lot of English, but I wanted to let you know that we've seen your photo. It's super impactful. We're so proud and like much love from Brazil. So that was such an emotional moment wow. for me. Wow. Like, like to have that reach. See, everybody, we can complain about the internet and we can complain about that we're online a lot, but it, there are some really cool yeah. benefits of connection when it does come to the internet. And Absolutely. you're talking to someone in a completely different country right. that, you know, is supporting you right. and, and, and loving on you right. in, that, in that scenario. So did you, I don't know, Malia, do you see your dad in Sydney as, as role models? Very much so, I do, um, because I feel like when I grow up, if there's, you know, nothing that I feel like is really comfortable for me, I guess I can look back and say I have role models that, that can, you know, lead me and guide me when I need help, when yeah. I'm down and everything. So. And that you can do anything, because you are so cute. <laughs> and the fact that you have two people sitting here saying, you know, we're the minority in this situation, but maybe by the time you're there and you're doing it, it will not be the case. That is, that is the hope. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, Sydney, tell us about your website, 15 White right. Coats. So in the middle of social media booming and yeah. it gaining the viral status and all of that, mm -hmm. we're just throwing around ideas of what we need to do with this platform because something needs to be done. This yeah. is not just for likes and retweets. Yeah, and, um, it's so more we than got, that. Right, absolutely. So we got together with the other 13 people in the photo, we came up with the name 15 White Coats. We uh, made an LLC, so we organized, and we got our website up and running. So that's the 15whitecoats.org. Yeah. And here, everyone can purchase the photos, they can donate, they can figure out what our cause is. And we mm -hmm. just thought, like, we're not in this for the cloud. Like, we need to do something about this. Yeah, we need to you're in it for platform. the movement. Right, yeah. absolutely. This is a movement. Yeah. Absolutely. That's so cool. Like you're not doing enough. Right. Like you're not doing enough in med school. And it's like you're like putting more on your plate. Like you're like related to me. Um, so Russell, you guys want to take this whole thing further now though, right? Yeah, so we, we're hanging our hats on three pillars. The first one is, is that, you know, many people have said it, you can't be what you can't see, right? And so oh, wow. th this idea around you have to see, like you have to imagine it. And so we really want to reimagine cultural imagery, specifically for kids that, you know, that, that look like us, right? Like they need to see that they're capable of being doctors, lawyers, accountants, as Malia was talking about. Um, and so our goal is 100,000 posters and 100,000 learning spaces so that kids can just literally have this imagery to constantly look at to reimagine what they can be. The second part is, and a lot of people don't know this, just to apply to medical school. I'm not talking about pay for medical school. I'm talking about just to apply to medical school. It costs upwards between $3,500 to $10,000. Wait, for like a paper, like an application? What do like you mean? Like just to apply, like the whole process between taking the MCAT, paying for uh, the whole process, the AMCAS process, what? the flights, the hotels, the They Ubers, only want rich people to be doctors. <laughs> you know what they $3,000 to be? Hello. Like. And a lot of people don't know that. And, right. so and that's if you haven't even gotten to the books or no, school right. or no, anything. No, 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 no. Wow. We're talking about just to apply. And so, uh, so we want to raise some money to alleviate that, um, yeah. that, at least to some degree, that financial burden. Yeah. Right? You know, a, a lot of people don't know that. I didn't um, know that. <laughs> All right, well, I know their goal is to have 100,000 posters and 100,000 youth centers. That's the goal. Well, the Los Angeles Boys and Girls Club has agreed to put up the poster of the 15 White Coats in their Los Angeles locations. So they're already going up there. And it's only going to go up from here because this is the domino effect that I always like to talk about in this show. This, y'all are part of a, a positive change, a positive domino effect that we all need in this country now. So. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.